object cools at different rates based on the formula below. So if you look at the formula, here we have, this is the temperature, this is the initial temperature, minus the room temperature, and then here we have negative R, R is the rate of cooling of the object, T is the time in minutes, plus we're gonna add the room temperature. So here it says, Mark makes T-shirts using a hot press to transfer designs to the shirts. He removes the shirt from a press that heats the shirt to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So when he removes it from the press, this is our initial temperature. The rate of cooling for the shirt is 0.0735 and the room temperature is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Using this information, write an equation for the temperature of the shirt T after T minutes. So what I'm going to do is write down the formula. We have T equals parentheses. Here we have the initial temperature. So the initial temperature was 400 degrees Fahrenheit minus here we have the room temperature, which was 75 degrees Fahrenheit. And then we're multiplying by E, and then to the negative, R being the rate of cooling, which is 0 0.0735. And then we're multiplying by T, so I'm going to put T plus... And then going back to the formula, we have room temperature. The room temperature here is 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'm going to go ahead and simplify this equation. T equals, now 400 minus 75 is 325. And then I copy everything else exactly the same in the formula. And so this would be the answer to my first question. Now moving on to the next part of the problem, it says <clears throat> use the equation to find the temperature of the shirt to the nearest degree after 5 minutes. So what that means is the time here is 5. So we have T equals 325E to the negative 0 point, excuse me, <clears throat> 0735. And now we're going to multiply by t. The t here is 5 minutes, plus 75. Now what I'm going to do is put this in the calculator. And so we have 325e to the negative 0.0735 times 5. And then I'm going to add 75. And when I do that, this is what I get. So let me go ahead and copy that down. So we have, this is approximately equal to 300.0505. Now it says to round to the nearest degree, which means whole number. So this would be 300 degrees, and the unit is Fahrenheit. So that's the answer to the second question. Now let's move on to the third question. At the same time, Mark's friend Janine removes a hoodie from a press that heats the hoodie to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. So in this part of the question, the initial temperature is 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Here it says after T after 8 minutes, which means T equals 8, the hoodie measured 270 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's the final temperature. So we'll call that T. The room temperature is still 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's room temperature. And then it says, determine the rate of cooling of the hoodie to the nearest 10 thousandths. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the original formula they gave us in the problem. So we got T, which is now 270, because that's the final temperature. Then I'm going to plug in the initial temperature, which was 450, because that's how much it was as soon as it came out of the press. And then minus the room temperature. Room temperature is still 75 e to the negative. This time I'm going to put r because we're trying to look for the rate of cooling. And then we're going to multiply by t, which was 8. Plus, here we have the room temperature, which is 75. So now I'm going to go ahead and simplify this equation. So we have 450 minus 75, which is 375. And then negative 
r times 8 is negative 8r. Now, I want to solve for r, so I'm going to isolate this. And in order to do, to do that, we're going to first get rid of this 75. So the opposite of plus 75 is minus 75. What you do on the right, you do to the left. So we got 270 minus 75 is 195. Now here, like I said, we still need to get r by itself. So first we're going to get rid of this 375. The opposite of multiplication is division. So we're going to divide both sides by 375. So 195 divided by 375 is 0 0.52. And then we copy e to the negative 8r. Now remember, when you have this exponent here, the rule is you're going to bring it to the front. So what we have is we're going to do the ln of both sides. And then I'm going to bring the negative 8r to the front and then do the ln of e. So just to be clear, we're bringing the exponent to the front and then we're doing the ln of both sides. Now if you look over here, ln of e is 1. And so we want to solve for r. The opposite of multiplication is division. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 8. So what we're going to do now is put ln of 0 0.52 and then divide that by negative 8. So we have ln of 52. I put that in a calculator first. And then I'm going to divide that by negative 8. Oops, I put the wrong thing. It's ln of 0 0.52. And then I'm going to divide that by negative 8. Oops. So just to be clear, that's the number we're copying down. So when I did the ln of 0 0.52, I pressed enter and then divided by negative 8. I get the rate is 0 0.08174. So this is a rate of cooling, and that's the answer to this third question. Now we're proceeding to the fourth question, and so I'll do this in a different color. I'll stick with black. The t-shirt and the hoodie were removed at the same time. So remember, this is for the hoodie, and this was for the t-shirt. So they're saying they were removed at the same time, and we want to determine when the temperature will be the same to the nearest minute. So we want to find time. So T is what we're looking for, and the temperature is the same. Well, keep in mind, the formula for temperature for the t-shirt is this one. The formula for the temperature of the hoodie is what we need to now write down. So let me write that in purple. So we have, so based on the information we got here, we're going to write the formula for the temperature of the hoodie. So I'll just write hoodie. So what we have is 450 minus 75. Just like here, we're just going to simplify and we get 375. Then I have E to the negative RT, so negative, and then the R is what we just found here. So 0 0.08174, and then I'm gonna put T, oops, T, and then plus the room temperature. So once again, the room temperature was 75. So keep in mind, what we're going to do is take this T-shirt temperature, this hoodie temperature and make it the same. So we're going to set it equal to each other. So 325e to the negative 0.0735t plus 75 equals 375e to the negative 0.08174t plus 75. Now if you look over here, we have that 75 and 75 are the same, so we're going to cancel that. And now what we're going to do is now simplify. And so we're going to divide both sides by 375. And so when I do that, 325 divided by 375 is 0 
six, 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 six. And then I'm going to copy everything else the same. Now, what we're going to do is now remember that when you have this multiplication, then that means that we're adding, right? So what we're going to have is, remember, we're going to bring the exponents to the front and then apply ln on both sides. So here I'm going to put the exponent to the front and then apply ln of both sides. And likewise, we're going to do the same thing on the left, but keep in mind, because this was multiplication, now we're adding. So let's bring this exponent to the front. And so we have 0 point, I'm sorry, negative 0.0735t. And then we're going to do the ln of e plus the ln of 0 0.86666. Keep in mind the ln of e's, they cancel because that's equal to 1. And now what we're going to do is combine like terms. So I'm going to add 0.0735t on both sides. And then so I got ln of 0 0.8 equals, then I put negative 0 0.08174 plus 0 0.0735. And when I put that in a calculator, I get negative 0 0.00824. Now remember, we want to solve for t, so the opposite of multiplication is division. And so I'm just going to show you how I put this in the calculator. So we're going to put ln of 0 0.8, 1, 2, 3, 4. I put that in a calculator first, and then I divide it by the negative 0 0.00824, and that's what we get. And so I copy down the decimal, 17.36. 7, 5, and the question tells us to round to the nearest minute, and so therefore it was 17 minutes. And then we're done with the problem.